Laura, congratulations on being Oscar nominated for The Breadwinner. Can you tell us a little about the movie? Uh, the, the film is based on a book by Deborah Ellis. It's about a young girl growing up in Afghanistan during the Taliban era in the late 90s. Um, her father is arrested and she cuts her hair and dresses as a boy because it was at a time where women and young girls weren't allowed out without a male relative to accompany them. So they have no way of making a, a living. They have no way of bringing food home. So uh, so that's why Parana in this, uh, in this case, she, she dresses as a boy to provide for her family. And did you guys have to go out to Afghanistan to review the area and kind of get some um, inspiration for the cartoon? We worked with a lot of uh, Afghan consultants on this film, so we have lots of stories uh, from people who were lived through that conflict and other conflicts, the conflicts before the communist regime and that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, this film contains the stories of lots of people, but half our cast are Afghan as well, or their parents came from Afghanistan, fled war and conflict. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, the, the the film is is in one sense it's universal, in another sense it's quite specific. But um, yeah, it's been some journey making this film. And how did it feel in the room when you guys were Oscar nominated? It was nerve-wracking. It was lunchtime, so we're all having our tea and sandwiches in the crew room. So uh, uh, yes, we had a fair bout of indigestion after that, I'll say, because it was uh, yeah, it was it was very exciting and wonderful, of course. And it was great to to celebrate it with uh, some of the people who had helped make it as well. You know, so to have some of our crew. Of course, it's an international film, so it's you know uh, we we made it in Ireland, but we also had uh, partners in Canada and partners in in Luxembourg. So, but to have some some of us there was great. Yeah. And Angelina Jolie was an executive producer. That's amazing. What was it like working with her? Yeah, it was incredible. We were really, really lucky to have her involved with the film, but she read the screenplay quite early um, in the process, a couple, good few years ago now at this point, and just helped guide it uh, all the way along. You know, she has uh, been to Afghanistan on, on a number of occasions. She has uh, supported girls' education there for over a decade at this point, so she was quite... Uh, knowledgeable and quite sensitive to the, the type of film that we were trying to make so that's been really incredible and she's been a great support for the film. And of course the Oscars, um, Greta Gerwig was the, has been the fifth woman nominated for the best director and um, what do you think about women being nominated in the Oscars and is there enough or should there be more? Of course there should be a lot, lot more, you know, we need to uh, reach a, a, a point where we have, you know, half of the, the nominations, you know, are, are, are female and I think the pendulum has to swing towards women a little bit for it to come and rest back to the centre because we need to change the environment in which films are made, we need to change the way, um, you know, that, that things are done basically so that, which, so that we encourage more women in the industry. I'm very uh, aware of my role, you know, uh, yeah, it, it, I'm not someone who, who likes to stand in front of a camera <laughs> very often, but, I, but I'm aware that you, you have an influence on, on you know, uh, young girls who are in college now or who are in, in school, you know, and you have, to, you have to, uh, to be visible, I think, and it's all about being visible now and about telling stories and about uh, celebrating women as storytellers and as filmmakers. Which is why Breadwinner is so important. Um, also, so you wore black to the Golden Globes. Um, will there be another uh, blackout for the Oscars? You know, I, I don't think so. I think that was a very special night and a very special uh, uh, statement, I guess, you know. But it's, a, it's, a, it's not, at the end of the day, about one statement. It's about an ongoing struggle, you know, to, to make sure that, that women's voices are heard. And that's, that's, you know, but it is an amazing thing to see and to see so much support for a movement like that. It's, it's, very, it's very good.